what is a song that you think, if it were used in this film, would maybe have changed the most for you or would have had the biggest impact because of the story that you're telling? Oh, that's a really great question. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> Obviously, for, for a lot of reasons, you guys weren't able to use a lot of, of Elvis music in this film. But I was wondering, thinking about his entire discography, what is a song that you think, if it were used in this film, would maybe have changed the most for you or would have had the biggest impact because of the story that you're telling? Oh, that's a really great question. Bossa Nova, baby. When they, <laughs> when, they, when, they, when they break up, it just comes in and he just gets up and moves on. <laughs> <laughs> I am now envisioning the musical version of Priscilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be a treat. Just Kaylee can sing. <laughs> can you top that? No, no, I can't. I would just let him, let him have that one. I know that you had Priscilla on as an executive producer, and obviously you had her book to be able to draw from, so I kind of want to go the opposite direction. I wanted to know if you could imagine sitting in a movie theater with Elvis and watching this film, and when it's over, you lean over and go, what did you think about how we did this? What is the aspect of the film, of your performance, of each other's performance that you'd love to get his thoughts on? He'd probably be sitting there quoting it. He'd be quoting <laughs> me playing him. He'd be out like, swinging in his room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I got to have that experience with, with Priscilla, and that was, um, I thought I was going to throw up in Venice. I what was, is that? How, how, how do you not just sit there and stare at her? Well, whole? I actually, it was actually helpful because he was in I between us. Her. So, but I would lean over and I go, <laughs> what is she doing? She seemed like she likes it. And what was she doing? She was she was just totally engrossed. She was she was totally a part of it. It was um, it was really like it was a spiritual moment mm. sitting there with her. You know, like a out of body experience. Yeah. And that's the only review that matters at that point. It's true. It's good. Like all the other awards and every, all the acclaim and everything, you guys are getting great. But like, if she gives you the thumbs up. That's I it. Mean, that's her I life, think. you know? Yeah. You know, watching the movie, it kind of broke my heart a little bit because it felt like sometimes all Priscilla wanted was to not feel like every other Elvis fan, to feel like she was getting a different side of him than he was giving the rest of the world. So I'm sort of curious for you guys, as you're developing your careers and you're sort of gathering a fandom that is following you, what lessons you learned from how they each dealt with fame uh, that maybe taught you how to separate the, the difference between not that you don't love your fans, but the people that you love in your life that matter and the rest of the fandom. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think this story, you know, Elvis didn't have anyone to look at before um, he jumped into this sort of massive world whirlwind. And uh, um, I think in some ways it's a cautionary tale and uh, I think we see it time and time again um, and it sort of confirms some of the some of the dangers of this world. So I think it's a, uh, um, yeah, it is something to just sort of take in and, and, and look at and understand where the pitfalls are and uh, what to do and not do. And um, but I think he, you know, he tried his best to navigate it the best he could that time. Yeah, I think any attempt to separate his life from the public kind of for him was thwarted. He, he didn't have mm -hmm. a lot of choice in what happened to him. But I think nowadays we have a lot more autonomy over the kind of choices you make and, and what you choose to, sh to share. Pe and obviously, you know, he was dealing with a level of fame and notoriety that you, you cannot even comprehend. I'm not sure anyone, mm. anyone can. So I don't know if, if the experiences are comparable at all, um, but I think it's much easier, for, in, I would say, in our position to keep private life and public life. Sure separate than it was for Elvis Presley and for Priscilla and for Priscilla to this day, I think, mm -hmm. you know. So when the three of us hang out, we just got to keep everybody else. We just got to keep them away, just the dude. That's, you just, that's you just give them a look, you know. Just, <laughs> you just say, don't even, don't even, <laughs> don't even, don't even, about even it. Think about don't it. even, don't even think don't about even it. Think about it, Gideon. <laughs> uh, guys, seriously, congratulations on this. I appreciate you letting me doing this in person, man. Thank you, you. you guys are absolutely phenomenal, and, and I hope we get to talk many times throughout your career because I'm such just a massive fan. So seriously, thank you for your time. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. Seriously, congratulations on everything. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Going, we don't need roads.